What's up everybody, it's Crypto Muscle back to you again with another YouTube video. Now, in this one I'm going to be talking about dApps and what's going on in the whole Tron and ETH dApps. So, I'm just going to run through a quick update. And, uh, yeah, so this is the Tucanair Network. And uh, I know people are going to say, oh, this is not the right platform. All right, fine, I'll, I'll switch over here so that way you guys can see this. So uh, 9.7 million Tron in the contract has fallen below 10 million now as people are, I guess, starting to sell out again. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this shows the price of... The two canary token going up and down, and uh, yeah, it was at five dollars plus to buy, now it's at 45 to buy. So that's two canary, they got. You know, a gain, you know, they got some gains to help try to support this thing. They said supposed to have more along the way, but I don't know. I think it's, it's losing some steam. You know, 9.7 million looks like it's dropped off quite a bit. So, uh, we'll see what happens on that one. Moving on to Pyra Bank. It's at 3.7 million. Uh, Tron in here. It's been holding steady around 3.7, 3.8, 3.9. I think it's kind of dropped off a little bit, but it's been steady though. It's been holding steady. Uh, nothing really much to say about it. You know, it, it, it just has steady, stable value, stable coin value. So it's all just a matter of collecting dividends when people buy and sell their Pyra. Um... And then you're you're able to, you know, get the uh, the benefits of this. Uh, and so the best part it would be if you got in early, um, and then you could take advantage of the dividends that when people come in and out of this platform. And I guess the whole idea is if you're the last one standing, then that's where you benefit the most, or the first one in. So that kind of thing. Um, yeah. So moving on. To Bet Fury. It is at 30, a little under 32 uh, million Tron tokens in here. So it's been kind of uh, sitting between 30 to 32 million um, tokens here. So that's not too bad, you know, for. And this is a gaming platform. Um, and then you could get your passive I guess, out of it, residuals out of it. But um, can it beat the big dog here? Because the big dog, let's see here. The big dog is uh, bankroll here. At 50 million total supply tokens, and the player numbers keep is rising more and more. Um, but yeah, so can Bet Fury catch up at all to bankroll? Remains to be seen. Uh, let's see. Lastly, on the Tron app update. Let's see what we got here on the. Tron Hives game. Okay, so Tron Hives. Uh, I'm gonna mess with this. I'm gonna show you the latest info on this thing, but uh, let's see if they'll let me 
connect to this thing at all here. Oh, yep, here we go. We'll let the stats roll in here. Not about to do anything. Uh, yeah, so here's your current numbers here for the ones that have been in or following, following the platform and trying to see where this thing's going. These are the current numbers I got here. And so, as all for your Tron Daps, I have no stake at all in any sort of Tron Daps right now. So, uh, I'm just kind of just talking about them, you know, and providing the latest information. But uh, other than that, I'm not in any Tron platforms at all at the moment. Or Daps, sorry. Daps at the moment. Now going into ETH Daps. Since we're talking about hives, I'll go into the ether hives version here. And with trend, let's see here. The ether hives, we got the set of numbers here. And if you've been following along the latest news and updates on my channel, then you'll see if it's been getting better or worse, or just holding steady. Um, that is your ether hives. The one that really caught my attention is ETH, uh, yeah, ether bank. As a, it was as high as nine million tokens, and it's really dropped off to now uh, seven point four million tokens. Here, it's really dropped off. Um, yeah, we'll see if, you know, they can make things happen. You know, they were, the thought was by putting the Discord together of EtherBank and PyraBank, since they have a corporate partnership there, uh, the thought was that, you know, the, the investors would spill over, I don't want to say spill over, how about, would jump over to you know one side and jump back over to the main side, but, but it's, it's all in the same, uh, in a sense, family. And so so far, it hasn't really captured the Ether Bank interest as it's dropped off to now 7.4 million tokens in this contract. So we'll see if uh, you know when things are to be coming. If it'll benefit this platform, you know, this DAP or not. So uh, we will be moving on to Blue Chip Fund. It's continuing to go down and down and down with no end in sight in terms of it going down. Um, will there be a pump again? Is there going to be a bottom again? Or is it just going to go down to the zero sum game as in zero? So that remains to be seen because, you know, they do have a couple things going on, like such as the, the Flux, which is their new leverage trading game. Um, let's take a quick look at that so you know what I'm talking about. The Flux. So you are able to take a position here, 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 and play along that way. And uh, you got the card games here. Yeah, so better ver to me. This is, looks like the better version of the original blue chips card game here. Let's see if this will load. Yeah, better than this original blue chips card game. Uh, yeah, I find it very interesting, but I'm not messing around with this and that. So, uh, yeah, that's the latest on Blue Chip Fun. Now we got Guaranteed Divs, which guarantees you zero, nothing, because it's been sitting at 4.3 ETH in the contract since day one. Now it's been almost 11 days that it's gone live. And sitting at 4.3 ETH, 
which is nothing for this platform. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else they can do to create interest. It's just nobody cares. So, uh, but I'm going to stay on top of it until it dies. So we're going to just move on. Ace Dap, same thing. It's been slowly going down. I really got not, you know, I don't, don't have anything to say about it except it's just going to go down eventually. I got to get out of it, you know, ho or hopefully there's a spike again and, uh, you know, it creates a rise, uh, in the platform because, or in the DAP. Uh, Ace, uh, of Ace Wins DAP here did mention that they're going to try to get this thing pumped up and going again. You know, they talked about it in their Telegram and Discord. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if that they can somehow spur some pumping and spiking of positive growth. Um, and then that allows me the opportunity to cash out of it, you know, if the price is in that ballpark that I want to get out of it, you know. So, yeah. That is that. FOMO Cube. Looks like right now FOMO Cube, uh, nobody... I think it seems to care anymore ever since they went through two rounds of this FOMO game. Um, you know, first jackpot was around eight, eight to nine ETH. Second jackpot uh, was only one ETH. And so far it says round three. That ended, uh, the timer ended with no ETH in it as people just, I think, have lost interest in it now. This thing has drained down the 13 ETH in the contract. It, I think it touched as high as 30-ish. This has dropped off to 7 ETH in the contract. So that tells you that I think people just don't care anymore <laughs> about this one. But we'll see what happens with uh, the contracts here and see where this thing goes. Um, diamond Dividends. Has gone up another two ETH in the contract for wherever the case may be. It's holding. You know, it's not gone down. It's just holding. Um, you know, will blue chip funds fall below that? It might. It just might. Let me look at the numbers very close. And so, being as it may, the last ETH platform I want to talk about is, of course, you always got to talk about the straight OG here, the Gandiji. Yeah, proof of weak hands is still out there. It's it's on a slow deflating you know, the air slowly coming out of the tire of P three D. You know, as this one though, Gandiji has held its ground over time. It's been well over a year and a half, going into two years pretty soon on you know, being out there, and it's exactly what it is. It's decentralized, immutable, and unstoppable. Staking smart contract. You know, devs can't go into it and do anything. Um, it's just no games or nothing like that. It's just 10 in, 10% in, 10% out. And that's it. Um, they've played it smart. And look at it. It's It's been riding the ways of up and down. And if you were to write it since the beginning, then not completely cash out, you would have benefited from the ups and downs of people buying in and out of uh, this DAP. So um, this is the clearly the best DAP out there right now in terms of steadiness because it's still out here. It's still, you know, live and kicking. So, uh Yeah. So that's your DAPS update. Uh, the, I mean, it's just the notable ones, I guess you could say. There's tons of DAPS out there, but these are the more notable ones, you know, that have been around for a little bit that I've been talking about. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, I got links down below for all the platforms slash DAPS that I'm in. You know, check those out. Um, comment down below if you have any questions or if you have anything you want to talk about. And uh, hit the like button. And, uh, you know, of course, you got to subscribe to my channel 
and I'll see you in the next one.